Welcome. In today's video, I am analyzing Cochin Shipyard. I don't have analysis with its peer group companies because the data is either uh, incomplete or uh, there are no good companies to compare Cochin Shipyards with. So the current market price is at 345 rupees. It has seen a quarterly sales growth that is YOY from December 2018 quarter to December 2019 quarter a sales growth of around 24.96% which is very good. The profits YOY has grown at the rate of 31% from 130 crores to 171 crores in December 2019 quarter. So this is also good. The sales in the recent 12 months when compared to the sales of 2019 has increased by 8.47% so this is also positive. The profits from in the recent 12 months to when compared with its 2019 figure has also increased by around 16.38%. When we compare the amount of cash that has come into the company from operating activities and comparing that with the net profit of the last year that is both are of 2019 values Cochin Shipyard's profit in 2019 was 477 crores. This is the profit declared by the company against which negative 448 crores that is cash has gone out of the company through its operating activities. So this is a red flag for me and we need to investigate going into the cash flow statement and understand why the company's cash from operations is negative which is almost 94% of the profit declared. So this needs to be investigated further on. The stock is down around 30% from its 52 weeks high. The latest price earning is 7.6 times which is quite reasonable. My benchmark is that I should buy below 25 times. Its average of the last 5 years is somewhere around 10.7 times. All these numbers needs to be uh, rechecked uh, with another website. This data has been sourced from screener.in. So compared to its average, it is down to 7.6 times. As we saw earlier, when we looked at profit to cash flow from operations, we saw that the cash had gone out of the operating activities of the business. Therefore, the when we compare the cash earnings with its price, we see that it is available at negative 10.1 times because the cash is negative. Price to book is 1.3 times reasonable against its market cap of 4,500 crores. Its net worth or the value as per the company is somewhere around 3,454 crores. Let us look at whether this price earning is justified. We are paying 7.6 times and we are getting a growth in the earnings of around 11% which is a PG which works out to a PG of 0 0.7. So this is a good multiple or a good ratio because we want the earnings to be growing higher than the price earning multiple we are paying. Even in the PEG 3 years comparison, the multiple we are paying is 7.6 and in the recent year the profits were growing at 17.8% which is a PEG of 0 0.4. So which this is also good. Side by side if you look for the profit growths of 5 and 3 years, both in the 5 years and the 3 years the profits have grown above 10% which is very good. Sales have also managed to grow at more than 10% for both last 5 years and in the recent 3 years as well. In the recent 3 years the sales has grown at 14.2% which is a positive for uh, the company. The ROE of the last 3 years and 5 years was somewhere around above 14% and the current or the latest ROE of 2019 is 14.5%. Although my benchmark is somewhere around 15%, these numbers are very nearby to that. Return on capital employed, we are comparing the profit earned by the company with the amount of funds that was deployed by the company. So Cochin Shipyard has managed to generate around 22% of profits on the total sources of funds which is very good compared to the ROE values ROC is much better. 
on an average basis also for both five and three years it was about 20 percent on in terms of assets what was the profit being generated is also very high at 13.9 percent on an average for last five years it was generating around 12.7 percent so this is also a good ratio its sales are slightly less than the amount of assets it is employed it has employed into the business that is the asset turnover is just 0 0.9 times we want the asset turnover to be as high as possible there is no fixed benchmark for this in terms of inventory turnover that is how many times more was sales when compared to the inventory holding of the company it is converting its inventory into sales by 9.8 times over the last three years the turnover on average basis was 9.7 times so this number is also good now let us look at the five years cash flow position in the previous graph we looked at one year that is 2019's profit with the cash flow from operating activities which we saw was negative but in the five year chart we see that the profit earned by the company in the last five years was 1552 crores against which the total cash earned was 1100 crores which means that the cash coming in through the operating activity is less than the profit i generally would like to see the five years data in which uh, the cash coming in through operating activities to be more than the profit being declared now let us look at the free cash flow position the company's investments in fixed assets in the last five years is only 16 percent of the cash earned through operating activity and it has 919 crores left over as free cash to be utilized in financing activity so this number is also good in terms of profit in the recent 12 months when compared to its average five years profit after tax values we see that in the recent 12 months its profit has gone up by 79 percent when compared to its average of the last five years so this value is also nice let us look at debt to equity this is a debt free company and therefore the interest coverage is very high at 22 times it means that the EBIT is 22 times higher than the interest it is paying in in 2019 let us look at the contingent liability percentage the contingent liability is very high at 60 percent I don't want the contingent liability to exceed 20% of the net worth. The company's net worth is 3,400 crores against which its contingent liability is 2,000 crores. Its contingent liability is very high at 2,066 crores which is almost 60% of the net worth. I generally like to stay away from companies whose contingent liabilities are very high. The promoters of this company are holding around 75.2% as they are shareholding against which there are no pledge shares so this this is a good value this gives confidence to us that the promoters also have a high stake in the company the company's debtors to sales percentage which means that the amount of payment still to be collected from customers against the sales of 2019 is just 10.9 percent which is very good i would not want to invest in a company who has to collect almost 30 percent of their payment from customers against the current year sales so I avoid when the debtors to sales percentage goes above 30%. It is collecting payment from its customers whatever is pending within 48 days. So the credit days to its customers is just around 48. I would like the debtor days to be below 90. Next let us look at the net profit margin of 2019. Cochin Shipyard was earning around 16.2% on its sales which is a good value my benchmark is that most of the companies that i invest in should have an npm of at least 10 percent and above or whatever the peer group companies are earning coaching shipyard at current price is providing a dividend yield of 3.8 percent this is the expected returns in terms of dividend investors can expect at current price so this concludes my analysis of Cochin Shipyard. Let us look at the numbers, individual numbers of Cochin Shipyard and see where the problems are. I can't give scores to this company on an individual basis. So let us just understand individual numbers where there it could be indicating a red flag. 
quarterly sales growth is positive that is good quarterly profit growth from yoy is good it is down 30 percent so that is a, a high fall from where it 52 weeks back and that creates an opportunity for us to buy when all the ratios are intact one red flag i see is that the current cash inflows in 2019 through operating activities was negative so that needs to be investigated as i mentioned earlier it is available at a high uh, good uh, price to book ratio its pgs are very good profit growths for five and three years are very good in fact sales growth is also very good from last five and three years return ratios are good we see that it is a debt free company almost a debt free company and coverage is very good promoter holding is very high there is no pledge shares so these are all good signs its debtor days and debtors to sales ratio is very good almost all the numbers are good except for the negative cash flow from operating activity in 2019 and the contingent liability which is very high at 60 percent of its net worth rest all numbers are good in this video i have also included the technical chart of cochin shipyards this is a weekly chart and i follow the rsi indicator relative strength index indicator to time my entry into the script along with the fundamentals so as per the support line it seems that somewhere around 336 is a good price to enter provided the rsi is also below or nearing 30. i generally buy when the rsi indicator comes below 30 currently it is at somewhere around 40 but as per the support line the price seems to be at 336 rupees where one can start looking at the entry and buy very gradually going downwards fundamentally the valuations are okay technically it is still expensive in the sense that it is nearing its support line but the rsi is still quite high at around 40. so buy gradually as it goes down this is the technique i use to time my entry into the script i hope this analysis helps investors in deciding if they want to invest in this particular company thanks for watching this video